Hello everyone, welcome back. So guys, today we are going to start a completely new module where we will be discussing about data cleaning and data pre-processing. Data cleaning and data pre-processing are a very important part. When you're working with Excel, there can be a lot of times where your data is unclean, it has null value, it has duplicate values, the formats are incorrect or they contain unnecessary characters, let's say. Okay, so to clean them, we need to use Power Query Editor. How to use Power Query Editor, we will be learning about that in this complete module in different sessions. Okay, in today's session, we are going to talk about different data connectors because as we will be working on a project, we also need to understand what are the different kinds of data connectors are there in Excel. So for that, if I open Excel, in Excel, in the data tab only, you'll find get data option on the left hand side. In the get data option, you have different types of data connectors. We have data connectors for a file as well, whether it's an Excel workbook, whether it's a CSV workbook, it's an XML, JSON, PDF, or even if you want to get a data from a folder, you can do that as well. If you want to get a data from a database, that is also possible from Azure platforms. Yes, you can get the data from there. There are other sources as well, for example, ODBC or from web or from a table or a range. Okay, so let's say, if I choose from web, okay, as of now, let's say if I choose from web, it will give me a pop up which will ask me for a URL that from which web URL you want to obtain the data. For that, you can choose any URL. Let's say I'll go for investing.com. This website contains tables of data. Uh, remember one thing whichever website you're looking for, it should have the data in the format of a table, it should have a tabular data. So just copy this link from here, go to Excel, paste this link here, click on OK. As soon as you will click on OK, it says anonymous OK and let's click on connect now. It will take few seconds and it will establish the con uh, connection between the Excel file and the web URL. Also, as many tables are there on that web page, uh, it will also display all the tables as you can see here. On the left, we have table zero, which contains uh, some stock data. Table one is there. Table 10 is there, which was which is about Bitcoin, Ethereum. And table 12 is there. Table 13 contains another set of table. Okay, and similarly, there are many tables here. Whichever table you want to select, or even if you want to select multiple tables, you can select multiple tables as well. Okay, let's say I want to select these three tables and instead of transforming data, I'll click on load. We'll learn about transforming data in our next session. Right now, I'll just click on load. And as soon as I click on load, it will take a few seconds and all these tables will be loaded over here. Click on them. As soon as I hover over them here, there's an option which calls view in worksheet. Click on view in worksheet or you can directly click on load too as well which will allow you to add this data to your table. Create a new connection. No, I want this in a format of a table. Where do I want it in the existing worksheet or in a new worksheet? I do not want to add this to a data model and click on OK. The query is currently connected to tables, pivot, tables, charts, a calculation, the workbook, removing it from the data model, changing it, not resting them. You can, OK, do you want to continue? Yes, I do want to continue. And you will see within few seconds, whatever data was there in that particular table, this will be loaded over here. Okay, this is how uh, you can get a data from web. Similarly, you can open the other tables as well. Just hover over them. Click on this triple dot. Uh, click on load to choose add this. Uh, I'm not choosing it to the data model. I'm, I'm going to create a table in the existing or in a new worksheet. So you can choose a new worksheet or you can uh, choose an existing worksheet as well. And then it will load the data for you here. Okay. So this is how you can obtain the data from the web or we will be learning about how we can get the data from an Excel workbook or from a folder in our upcoming sessions. So stay connected guys and I'll see you in the next session where we will be discussing briefly about Power Query Editor.